That was such a wow. It's not bad. Hey, it's a nice game. Sorry, it looks nice. Don't call me that. You're real. You're real. You, you sleep you. softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. It's modest. Wait, why are you banging the old Colonel Sanders if you're, cause he's sexy. If you're in college? The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, you're <laughs> <break. laughs> Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack, smack that clock up and up and at him, or throw the clock out of the window. I need to smoke. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, the Academy for Learning. That's where I'm at. Yeah, where are you laying? I don't see it. Where you don't see me. I'm under the blanket. How are you under the blanket? There's not even a body shape in there. Yeah, there you is. Right, see? <laughs> uh, <laughs> your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. Should we take this seriously? Or should we allow ourselves to daydream? I think we need to do a daydream. That's what I was thinking. What's your take? Is daydreaming? You already have it. It's, it's here, here, finally. Your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit oh, and burst out the door in a hurry. There's a KFC biscuit. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Just what you need to wake up those taste buds. Hey, I like this. Hey, this is PG-13. Wait, oh, Yikes, you're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets, chicken, as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon... Okay, I'm gonna turn this down. Okay, standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably <laughs> awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Oh, Miriam. She definitely is that. <laughs> That's definitely it. Good morning, Jonah. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Someone else has to do it. Why oh, oh, you do it? Yeah, okay, you can do it. Good morning, Jonah. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our <laughs> lives? <laughs> Actually, I'm... Because I sure am excited a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by master chef, chef Perrin. She's always held herself to a very high standard. Classic Miriam. Ever since we were little babies playing together, and you rescued me from that quicksand box. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great. <laughs> oh, Miriam. But with University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Three-day only. <laughs> a sweet girl. Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. What an idiot. <laughs> Should we pep talk her or change the subject? Ooh, gossip. gossip. Definitely gossip. It's hard to see Miriam like this and frankly quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you should try to change the subject to something more interesting. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy, enigmatic, mystery student who is enrolled at this school. Yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Ugh, excuse me. 
Who's that? Now, what about this Who's mystery there? student we read about on the school message board? Any new deets? Oh, get this. I heard his name is Harlan, and he's no ordinary student. They say he has powers. He's had them ever since he was born from an egg. Wait, so is an Sanders egg? Like a, like a chicken? A Don't daddy. be ridiculous. He's a dad. Daddy Sanders. You mean Michael Sanders? But that thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like, I heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. What does that even mean? I don't know. You both sigh thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Dream. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spins out of your hands and onto the ground. Who's this bitch? Hey! Ashley Chase. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, <laughs> she hot but you fuck. can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. Johnny, why isn't she. Why aren't you as hot as her? Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see their chicken shins. It's actually Jonathan. <laughs> you leave Jonathan's shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. <laughs> you can't stand that. Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. Is she from Britain, <laughs> If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. Is that supposed to mean? We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you can see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Oh shit, dude. So the dude has the fat ass. <laughs> <clears throat> Van Van? <laughs> I guess you rang rang? Okay. <laughs> You've never been sure that what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have just have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. Yeah. And I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Yeah, right? Shut up, bitch. That's you. That's you. Okay. Should I do a different voice? Yeah. yeah. Or maybe hire us odd as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, I Miriam. <clears throat> See you later, losers. <laughs> As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. That's him. He's Pop. You could be Pop. Okay, you talk. I don't know how to change my voice to that. Ah. Okay, good enough. Oopsie! I think it's broken! <laughs> you reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you! Oh, you know, I think you mean thank you. Oh, my, my name is Pop. <laughs> I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. <laughs> Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. <laughs> Hi, Pop. I'm Jonna. I'm Jonna? I don't know. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Oh! 
<laughs> is it just me or is he kind of cute? Uh, <laughs> I think it's just you. <laughs> you both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. Oh, my gosh, you're a cougar, bro. <laughs> you stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit chatting. A scruffy looking fat, pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable! <laughs> Chase! Chase, you're the dog. <laughs> what the fuck? You're the dog. Uh, now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. <laughs> Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Wolf. <laughs> What? A cute dog is our professor? <laughs> this is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. No, that's not how it works. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fills the air inside the classroom. I'm chewy. Someone close the window. Hey, yo, is someone here? Carl. And then oh, my girlfriend. he oh, walks in. <gasps> Damn! You're immediately Shit. swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so Shit. handsome? I Time need, stands I need still. It's him. It's. It is one of my favorite students, Harland. Colonel Sanders Colonel interrupted Sanders. Sprinkle. Interrupt Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. <clears throat> I don't know how that you gotta sell it. You gotta sell it. Please call me Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Sanders. Yeah, I like Happy birthday! Happy birthday. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. God. And this over here must be sweaty, sweats a lot. What was my voice? It was deep. Maybe. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melt into a puddle and evaporates entirely. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your weird, really weird insults? Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that is that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. God, you got it. You called it. I don't want to be. Okay, boy, howdy. This classroom get, gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. God, please. Use my handkerchief. I cannot use yours at all. <laughs> you freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look. You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How will you respond? Take it. Take it. Take it. You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. You hesitate to press it to your face, but when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. 
Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and sets some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. <clears throat> Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. Quiet. <laughs> Quick that dude. Late to, the, late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. I just... Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Bzz, word. <laughs> the class first sends laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decided to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Chicken. I know that like chicken, chicken, chicken snack yeah. sounds like a good thing. You reach like Marie and we were actually doing anything. Yeah, that's what the game is. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles his eyes go wide as he locks onto it. Yeah, but I'm gonna be able to pick stuff more. His favorite! Well, 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 I think there might be some competition or a new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Yeah. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Jonah, there's still a seat here. Seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me. If you're interested. Uh, oh no. The best friend, Colonel Sanders is a dad. Bros mm, before hoes? Uh, he's a dad. Def, def, yeah, but she's the hoe in this She's situation. the hoe. Take him. So who is it? We don't need her as a friend anyway, she fake. Colonel Sanders? Yeah, fake Colonel. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off the seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. 
Thanks for offering me the seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. Like now. That's so inspiring. We'll wait till the next decision. Wait. Awesome. Keep it okay. Or should we stop here? It's wherever you want to stop, buddy. All right, we're stopping. You already ruined the mood. I have to stop the video, dummy boy.